Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you look beautiful. Did you just wake up like that? I woke up like this. Okay, give me that. Let's go. The daily lint roll habit. Jack, no! Come on, we're leaving. Alright, put him inside, we gotta go. Come on. He's like, no! <laughs> No point in lint rolling myself. How you feeling? So this morning we are at the gym, as you guys can already tell, and I just finished, well sort of finished, doing a booty workout. I swear I work more than my booty when I come to the gym, but I feel like every time I'm filming a vlog, I'm working my booty for some reason, it just always ends up being that way. <laughs> it's really busy here today for some reason, so all the machines downstairs are taken that I want to use. So I've just kind of been waiting up here and I did some dancing and yoga and some other whatever kind of um, exercises I could do up here without the machines. Carl just went downstairs to finish his workout and I'm gonna go downstairs to finish my workout and then we are going to head back home and have some breakfast because all I've had this morning were those two plums that you guys saw. So yeah, that is our morning so far. It's been a good day and I guess we'll see you guys when we get home for some smoothie. Always a smoothie. I don't have any more almond milk, so I need to make some almond milk. So I thought I would show you guys the recipe because every time I show myself making almond milk, you guys ask. So I've got some almonds here that I soaked overnight, um, a cup and a half. You can use a cup if you want, but I like a cup and a half because it just makes it more creamy, I think. And then I'm just gonna rinse them because they kind of have, they're sitting in kind of gunky water right now. So I'm gonna rinse them and then blend them up with um, four cups of filtered water, put some vanilla and a date in there to sweeten it, and then strain it, and that's our almond milk. And I'll leave the full recipe in the description for you guys, but yeah. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return milk and the almonds. So I'm using a nut milk bag that I just got from one of like my local health food shops. You can buy them online and stuff like that. Or you can use cheesecloth. And somebody on Instagram actually messaged me and told me that if you like do it in two batches, so I only did like half, you actually like yield more liquid. So that's what I've been doing and I found that that works. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say about almond milk. Oh yeah, and then you're left with the pulp from like the almond, and I like to freeze it, and then you can like dehydrate it, or you can use it in like different recipes and like baking, burgers, or you can even put it into smoothies too. So never, never waste. I just really like homemade almond milk because it's so much creamier, and I find like 
I control the ingredients and I just drop this bag back in the milk so you know, life's good. I mean almond milky. So creamy. Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. Say something for me. You want this? Yeah, I want that part. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Chicken smoothie? Yep. I'm just enjoying my smoothie outside right now and getting some much needed sunshine because I feel like I haven't seen the sun in like weeks and I need it. <laughs> um, and I actually just threw in the oven some baked oatmeal. <laughs> So lovely. I'm really excited for it because I haven't had baked oatmeal in a really long time and I've been craving it, so yeah. Every time we come outside, sometimes we can never find Jack because we leave the front door open all the time when we're filming, so he comes outside and we can never find him. And I figured out his hiding spot. He's in here. Hey buddy. Jack, what you doing in there? Hi! Is that your chill spot? I swear, he thinks he's like a lion or something. He likes to pretend he's like in the jungle or something. We didn't have like a lot of fruit. We need to go shopping for fruit. So I just used a random nectarine that we had and some frozen raspberries and it turned out pretty good. And I've got the recipe for this on my channel and I'll link it in the description if you guys want to make it because it, it's delicious. Mmm. It's good, eh? I feel like I don't have a lot of raspberries like you. I put extra oh, raspberries yeah. on mine. <laughs> Sorry. This is like one of my favorite recipes of all time. It's such simple ingredients, but it literally, it just tastes like a dessert. Like it's so good. This was just like a throw together recipe because I didn't have my regular berries or apples. And it's really good. <laughs> Very well done. Thank you. I'm done my first bowl and I'm about to go get my second. 
I was sick for the past like a week, and now I'm feeling much better. Everybody could hear it in the videos. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't tell you guys in the earlier videos. I think my sister's boyfriend got me sick because he he was sick first, and then my sister got sick, and then I got sick. But Maddie didn't get sick because she is an angel. I didn't get sick. Whoa! You just totally put your hair. I didn't get sick. You want to know why? Why? Can you guess? No. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> what? Because I don't eat. The oh, junk cheese. food. Vegan cheese. He was eating so much of like the day of cheese and chicken and stuff like right before you got sick. And I never got sick. I felt a little like not so great for a few days. Excuse me. But I never got sick. And I, I take pride in that because I haven't gotten a cold in a really long time, like years. I never get a cold in the summertime, but... <clears throat> I know, it's weird. When I do get a cold now, I, I heal really fast, so... Okay, so we just came to Mech, and it's like a mountain equipment co-op store, that's what it's called. And I think we're going to get some new running shoes because... How long have you had those shoes? I have had these shoes for almost five years. Jeez. Five years. actually came here the other day just because we were like browsing and I just I just decided to try on these shoes and I know you guys in the last vlog were saying oh my god Maddie your shoes look so old you need new shoes and I'm like oh no like I need to run them into the ground but then I tried these <laughs> why do they feel so good they literally they just have so much support and like they just feel like I'm like on a cloud <laughs> Yeah, they feel really good, guys. And they're like, they're fully vegan. This is not sponsored whatsoever, but I've researched this company and they're fully vegan. We're matching. Who rocks these shoes better? Me. I think I do. Ooh, let's take a okay. poll in the comments. Also, as you guys can see, I, I'm pretty due for some new shoes. Just looking at my old ones. They just don't have any more support. They're done. These went to Hawaii twice. Thailand, Bali, Australia. I hiked the Kalala Trail. It did me pretty good, and I'll still use them for like dirty things. Fair. Goodbye to Nike too. Yeah, no more Nike. No more Nike. Also, do you mind if we just take the shoes and we just yeah. cycle the boxes first? Okay. could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean. In the moment I hung best belief. The other Does this light look better than the other one? This one. The ring on my wrist is gold. Pairing with the light it holds. When I return from my spinning ball. Hey, is there any room for me? I'm gonna do a swing. Uh oh. Oh. I think it's gonna break. 
This is sketchy. We're just waiting for our chili to cook. I'm excited. Haven't had chili in a long time. It's been a long time. Fuck, the last time we had chili was like Australia. There you have it, folks. Chili. This is our magical dinner. <laughs> Basically, we just had like some celery that I needed to use up and um, some green pepper and like onion. And we just basically had all the ingredients to make a chili, so I just threw it all together. And this is how it turned out, and it's super good. Chili with avocado in it tastes really good too. Just a reminder for those in the GTA who want to come meet us this summer. It's happening next week, Friday, or Thursday. It's on a Saturday. Oh, next week, Saturday. <laughs> Not this Saturday coming up, but next Saturday. August 19th. We'll just say that. August 19th. So yeah, we'll be at the Vegan Festival August 19th. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm going to be snapping where we are and where we will be sitting to meet people, I guess. I don't know. A lot of you guys have messaged me and told me that you're coming, which is super, super exciting. So I'm super pumped so yeah hope to see you guys there and yeah i'm pretty sure that concludes our vlog for today it's a pretty successful day we got some nice new shoes that i didn't know i needed until i tried them on <laughs> <laughs> yeah really yeah. those shoes are gonna last a while like maddie has hasn't got new running shoes since how when since when like almost four and a half five years yeah that's a long time so yeah they were really pretty pricey they're $145 for a pair, but like, I mean, it's good to, it's and worth it, because it, I wore those other shoes for like five years, so I mean, but like, those Nike ones definitely didn't have like any more support left in them. After I tried on those new ones, I was like, oh yes, I need new shoes. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>